In the previous video, both of them mentioned building a virtual trading app. In this video, we are actually going to build that app. We will build this app using Google free anti-gravity code editor and develop it with Flutter. On top of that, Google anti-gravity has released the Anthropic's latest Opus 4.5 model. And in this video, we are going to use Opus 4.5 throughout. The output is going to be very effective. You are now seeing a demo of this virtual trading app. In this app, we are using Zerodo Kite's Real Connect API to fetch real stock prices. Along with that, we have added 1 million rupees as virtual currency for every user who uses this app. This is only dummy money. But since we invest using real stock market prices, this app becomes very effective for experimenting and checking whether our trading strategy actually works or not. If anything goes wrong with our strategy, we can simply click the reset button on the top right corner. When we do that, all our investments are cleared and we get 1 million rupees credited back again. Many people are currently searching for virtual trading apps. The reason is simple. We cannot properly learn trading by directly using real money. If we try to learn without enough knowledge, we may end up losing our hard-earned money. Zerada itself has officially stated that less than 1% of traders actually make profits. In this app, we can search for real stocks, add them to a wish list and save them. We can choose how much quantity we want and invest at the current market price. At the same time, we can also see whether the market is open or closed. In addition to this, Google Gemini analyzes the type of portfolio we are investing in based on our own data and provides guidance such as suggesting diversification and recommending which sectors we should invest in. This app is purely for learning purposes, where we can test whether our strategy works or not using virtual currency without risking any real money. Of course, I have hard coded the 1 million rupees value in the code. We can change it to 10 million rupees or even 100 million rupees. If a strategy does not work, we can reset the app and the balance will be reset again. The app shows complete buy history, sell history and full transaction history. It also suggests stocks to buy in the information technology sector, such as Infosys, Tata Consultancy Services, TCS and HCL Tech. Since this app is built using Flutter, it can run on macOS, Windows, Linux, Android phones, iPhones and also as a web app opened in a Chrome browser. In this video, we are going to run this app on an iPhone 17 Pro in a Chrome browser and on macOS. We will go through the complete process of building this app in this video. Before that, if you have any doubts or want to share ideas with like-minded people, I have shared my WhatsApp community link below. Through that community, you can learn how to develop mobile apps, web apps and websites, share job postings and discuss potential opportunities. The community link is available in the description. Now let's start with the first step of building this app. First, I clearly explain the requirements to Claude and generate a master prompt for building this virtual trading app. As you can see here, we get a very detailed master prompt which we can copy entirely. To create a Flutter project, we run the Flutter create command and create a project called virtual trading app. All the folders are created automatically. Then I navigate into the project folder using the cd command. All the files are already created and now I run Flutter run. Before that, we open the simulator. I have now opened the iPhone 17 Pro simulator. This is the basic default Flutter app. If you see this screen, it means everything is installed correctly. When you click the plus button, the counter simply increases. Now everything is set up correctly and I open Google the anti-gravity. As I mentioned earlier, Google anti-gravity has included the latest Opus 4.5 model for free. There is a generous free usage limit and using that, we can build a complete app. Even though there may be temporary rate limits for a few hours, we can keep improving our app in each session. Gemini 3 Pro is good for front-end tasks and Opus 4.5 works well for backend. But when we use Opus 4.5 for frontend, backend, core functionality and core infrastructure, everything works very smoothly. That is why Opus 4.5 is such an effective model for coding. Since Google has provided this model for free, we are going to use it to build the entire app. I select Opus 4.5 thinking and paste the prompt. After that, I press enter. It analyzes the master prompt completely and generates an implementation plan along with the task list. I strongly recommend reading this plan fully because this is where you decide whether you want to change small details or even major technical choices. After reviewing the implementation plan and confirming that everything looks good, I proceed. Another important point is that we are going to fetch real stock prices in this app. For that, we use the Zerodo Kite Connect API. To do this, we need three values, an API key, an API secret, and an access token. The API key and API secret can be obtained from the Kite API dashboard. The access token is generated by triggering a login URL, which redirects to the browser where the access token appears. We can copy and store it securely. For now, everything in this app is hard-coded so that I can quickly show you a demo. But in a production-level app, API keys should never be hard-coded. All important secret keys should be stored securely using environment variables or protected configuration files. 
We also include the Gemini API key for AI features because it analyzes our portfolio and works like a basic financial advisor, helping us understand whether our decisions are correct or not. One important thing to note is that the Kite Connect access token resets daily. If we use this app daily, we need to verify that the login is refreshed properly. This is a security feature and a good practice. Next, the plan explains the file structure and what should be available on each screen. The virtual balance should be visible at the top of the portfolio. The starting balance is 1 million rupees which we can easily change since this is virtual currency rendered through code each screen includes wishlist functionality gemini ai business logic and the required ui in the business logic we can place buy orders sell orders and calculate brokerage values the main sections of the app are home markets portfolio orders and wishlist in the verification plan it confirms that real market data should be fetched indices like nifty and sensex should be included as live data and the virtual trading flow should work correctly users should be be able to search stocks, buy them, deduct balance including brokerage, view holdings in the portfolio screen, view transaction history, and sell stocks with the balance updating accordingly. Wishlist functionality should work. Offline mode should function using cached prices. And an AI assistant using Gemini API should allow stock-related discussions. The most important feature here is the current portfolio. The AI should understand our holdings and provide suggestions based on real data. This is the main motivation behind this app and it's what makes it more effective than many other virtual trading apps. Since everything looks good, I proceed. I make sure Opus 4.5 thinking is enabled. Although many people suggest using Gemini 3 for front-end and Opus 4.5 for back-end because of the generous free tier, I decided to use Opus 4.5 for everything. The results are very effective. Now you can see each process running. Sometimes the system asks for confirmation and I accept it. All dependencies are installed and the app loads correctly. Occasionally it fails and reruns automatically to verify everything. Higher level code generation complete successfully. Everything is stored in local storage. There is no login or sign up functionality for now. All portfolio data, buy orders and sell orders are stored locally on the device. That's why these packages are installed. Phase 1, Phase 2 and Phase 3 are completed. Phase 4 starts now, where the user interface is built. Portfolio holdings, market data, wishlist, transactions, trading flow and the AI assistant are all created. Since the core infrastructure is already in place, only UI and further improvements remain. The system continues analyzing the project and checking for errors. It finds 38 errors, fixes them by editing code and rerunning. After that, there are no more errors. Some warnings remain, but they are harmless. In a production app, we would fix those as well. The virtual trading app is now complete. Everything is accepted. Local storage uses Hive, state management is handled using Riverpod, charts use Flutter's chart components, and the app is built with a dog theme and animations. Now let's build and run the app for the first time. The walkthrough clearly shows all implemented features. The virtual portfolio starts with 1 million rupees. We can buy and sell stocks, hold positions, view transaction history, manage a wish list, search stocks, view portfolio allocation charts, see market indicators, use the AI trading assistant, and reset the portfolio. Offline pricing cash works, and mock data mode is available when the network or API is unavailable. Before running, we haven't pasted any API keys yet. We are instructed to paste them into the API underscore config dot dot file. I paste all the API keys there, close the file, and run Flutter Run. The virtual trading app opens. Xcode builds the app and launches it. The user interface and overall experience look very clean and effective in dark mode. This clearly shows how powerful Opus 4.5 is as a model. We now have 1 million rupees added as virtual currency. We can use this to buy real stocks based on real market prices. We scroll through the app and interact with it. Market indicators like Nifty 50 and Sensex are visible. When I click on AI and type high, it returns only a basic response, which means it is still using mock data and the Gemini API key is not working yet. Portfolio, markets and orders work correctly. Resetting clears everything and restores the 1 million rupees balance. When we check Nifty 50, it shows approximate values, which confirms that mock data is still being used instead of real-time data. Searching for HDFC shows incorrect prices compared to Google, so real data is not fully implemented yet. We buy 100 stocks and check balance updates. Available cash, invested amount and current value are displayed, including losses. The core functionality works, but real stock prices are not yet accurate. However, values change dynamically, similar to real market behavior. We add ITC and see the portfolio allocation update. Buy and sell flows work correctly, wishlist functionality also works. The remaining issue is that real data is not yet fully connected. After adding the API keys, there are still differences between app prices and Google Live prices. On analysis, it is confirmed that mock data is still being used instead of real API data. We edit the relevant files to fix this. It is also confirmed that 
the Kite Access token resets daily at 7.30. After rerunning the app, real values appear correctly. Sensex shows 84,391.27, which matches expectations. Nifty is confirmed at 25,758. HDFC share price now matches the real value of 990.40. Reliance also matches. Everything is now running with real-time data. We buy additional stocks like ITC, HDFC, Reliance and SBI. Portfolio allocation updates correctly. Losses appear due to earlier mock data purchases. Available balance, invested amount and current value are clearly displayed. We capture screenshots of issues like top gainers and losers not showing and the market open or close indicator missing. These issues are reported and fixed. Error handling, UI improvements and manual tests are added to the task list. Now market open is shown in green and market closed is shown in red. UI overflow issues are fixed and everything is accepted. CSV export starts building but we skip it due to Opus 4.0. 0.5 usage limits. The main issue at this point is that Gemini AI is not returning real responses. Even after adding the API key, it still returns mock responses because the model version is outdated. Using Gemini 1.5 Flash instead of the latest version, we update the model version directly in the code. After rerunning the app, the AI starts providing real responses. The portfolio review preset now works correctly. It analyzes holdings like HDFC Bank, ITC, Reliance, and SBI and also shows available cash. It provides provides diversification suggestions and highlights sector concentration risks. It suggests investing in IT services like Infosys, TCS and HCL Tech, pharmaceuticals like Sun Pharma and Cipla, automobiles like Maruti and Tata Motors, and capital goods like Siemens. It advises diversification, proper research and cautious investing. Since this is virtual currency, we can test strategies without any financial risk. If a strategy works, we gain confidence. If it fails, no real money is lost. Resetting clears everything back to 1 million rupees. We test buying Reliance, TCS and ICICI Bank. Orders appear correctly and the portfolio updates in real time. The market open or close indicator also works as expected. The app works consistently across iPhone, web app in Chrome and macOS. Validation prevents users from buying stocks beyond their available balance and all values update live. Gemini AI initially does not work on macOS due to missing network permissions. Once network access is enabled and the app is rerun, Gemini Chat works correctly. In conclusion, this is a dummy currency app, but it uses real stock market data. We can test trading strategies over multiple days and observe the results. We have built a complete virtual trading app in Flutter with a 1 million rupees starting balance using real-time market data. This allows users to learn trading without risking real money. The Gemini AI integration makes it a powerful educational trading app. The 1 million rupees limit is hard-coded, but it can be changed to 10 million rupees or more. If we make mistakes, resetting brings everything back to the initial balance. We test tested the app on an iPhone 17 Pro, Mac OS and Chrome. It will work similarly on Windows, Linux and Android. The Gemini integration makes it even more useful as an educational tool. If you have any ideas for similar apps you would like to see built, let me know in the comments. I have also shared my community link below if you want to connect with other builders. Thank you.